General Motors reported record earnings and better than expected revenue for the fourth quarter, but that wasn't enough to impress investors. Shares of the automaker were lower today, in part because of Wall Street's concerns about the potential impact of a border tax and how it could hurt the auto industry. Phil LeBeau reports. These are strange days for GM CEO Mary Barra. For the second straight year, her company delivered record profits, fueled in part by strong sales in China and in the U.S., where the automaker is cashing in on heavy demand for highly profitable pickups and SUVs. So why is GM stock continuing to struggle, even as the automaker forecasts even greater profits for 2017? One reason is President Trump, who Barra has met with at the White House. He's threatening to slap a border tax on vehicles made in Mexico and sold in the U.S. Not only does GM import more vehicles from plants in Mexico than any other automaker, a good chunk of them are those highly profitable trucks. So investors are worried GM may have to raise prices on pickups or pay a tax that cuts into profits or perhaps pay hundreds of millions of dollars to move production to the U.S. Barra says GM is talking with the president and waiting to see what he ultimately does with a possible border tax. There's a lot of moving pieces right now. Um, we want to, and, and that's why we're at the table and also working at all levels of the administration to make sure we're providing the input. While GM lobbies the Trump administration on tax and trade issues, the company does not see profits slowing down, especially here in the United States, where the average vehicle GM sold last year topped $35,000, more than four grand above the industry average. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.